right. Mm -hmm. And it's another great listening technique that I love using, listening to a Bruckner symphony and pretending it's very early Mahler. And it works so well. Or it's very so late unique. Beethoven or, or late Schubert. Schubert. Uh, Ooh, yeah, that's good. Totally works so or well. just some insane classical symphony of the future. Like if Mozart lived to be 200, might he have written something like this? Because there's a lot of those same little classical things from those early symphonies in Bruckner. Not the least of which is these little cells and that sense of urgency. So, um, that's why Bruckner obsessively numbered every bar, not just in his scores, but in every score he owned. Look at his copy of Eroica. Wrote the number over every single bar. He was He's obsessed, obsessed with numbers. with form. And, and numbers. numbers. He would, if somebody was wearing like a coat with a lot of buttons on it, he had to count the buttons. He had to count the stars. What is going on with this guy? We can only know through his symphonies.